shit. Niggas ducking the question and shit. Like, what happened, nigga? Stop ducking that shit. You scared Keem or something? Because what a bro. I'm going to say it. That nigga snitch. He a dry snitch, nigga. Fuck you talking about, nigga. Everything in the world, bro. Nigga be saying anything, bro. The moment 4 1 this naughty, I did. Did. I said 41K. I told niggas I'm smoking late. I went to the studio with college and I told him to his face, I'm smoking late. What's up? What you wanna do, nigga? He ain't do nothing, nigga. And that's when I went back to the hill and I was like, yeah, I'm on my old washer, nigga. Cause niggas done dissed my son Naughty, nigga. Simple, simple. I was not linking up with these kids. These were nobodies. They wasn't smoking bro and I linked up with them. They started smoking bro because they caught they started smoking niggas. Yellow, Noah, Diddy, cause they was with me. Talk about niggas saying anything. They started that shit cause they was with me. I put them niggas on the type of time I was on. And when I left, they was on their own type of time. That shit don't got nothing to do with me, nigga. You think I can make niggas stop jacking this shit when they already was so called on it? They a gang, 4100 and shit. Nah, nigga. Nah, nigga. Nah. They got on that shit because of me. None of them niggas was never like that. I came around them and I brought that gang energy. Now niggas making 4 1, 4100. We smoking this, nigga. We smoking that, nigga. These niggas ain't got no packs, nigga. These niggas ain't got no packs, nigga. Ain't doing nothing to nobody, nigga. All my life, I done been on these niggas' blocks with they big bros, little bros, anybody wanna tell, nigga. What you talking about? Niggas ain't got no bodies. Niggas ain't got no bees. Niggas ain't doing nothing to nobody. What you talking about? These niggas left college and came to the streets, nigga. On both. Most of these niggas was in high school, dropped out, was like, I wanna be like K-Fi. I chase money. I don't chase bitches. I don't chase niggas. Look like, I'm not chasing shit, bro. Y'all don't want suck my I'm going to give you a hard pill to swallow, Blockwork. All this rap stuff, it's a political game. It's about who likes who more. That's it. They can see King's paperwork in black and white, and they still will be inclined to call you a snitch. Because the O likes him more to you, and the drill fans like him more to you. It's going to always be political. The only way that you could ever win this whole non-snitch, I ain't snitch, King versus Blockwork war is by dropping good music. Let me give you an example. Not saying you snitch, but look, an example. Gunner and Boston Richie. Both of them told. Gunner told on camera. Boston Richie has paperwork out. But they drop great music, so no one cares. I'm the Bubba Man. The Bubba Man. Like they drop great music. No one cares. 6 9 snitch. But it's all gimmicks. He will forever be clown. They look at him as a clown and they make fun of him. Block work. Just keep dropping hitters after hitters. Stay out the drama a little bit. Cut the drama back a little bit, but you could be in it a little bit just to keep your name out there. But keep dropping hitters. Throw some fit picks up. Do like some little YouTube vlogs with Smokes and, and Idris Majo and Booba and all of them. Get your career together, and I promise you they're going to be glazing you in about six months from now, dog. Six months. Just give it some time. But it's a political game, dog. They're going to go with whoever they like ever. If I ever blow up, I owe Blockwork at least 20% of digital thugs. This nigga is always in the news and always got something going on. His girl punched him and broke up with him. His manager was taking care of him like a baby, fired him, but still finessing him on a contract, getting money from all his views and all that kind of stuff. They kicked the nigga out the O, but they missed the field goals. Now this nigga think he the QB of the team. Shock EK coming at his neck. 4-1 coming at his neck. His mom coming at his neck. His old manager coming at his neck. Fun fact, though. I'm going to tell you a fun fact. In one of my earliest, probably like one of my first five block work videos ever, I made a joke. It was a joke saying that his mom got beef with him and that she don't like him. I was capping. I was just bidding. I don't know block work. I don't know his mom. Come to find out from the P Films interview, it's true. So look, I be knowing the future sometimes, dog. I'm feeling the future. I be knowing the future, dog. I am the man of the future. You could call me Future Hendrix, you feel me? But... Anyway, Blockwork is one of the crazy rant calling out Sugar Hill Keem, calling him a snitch. Me, personally, I feel like this needs to be deaded. No one cares anymore. Keem is in jail right now, and Blockwork dropping his music that people are actually jacking. He got the Philly Flow joint out now. He got another song coming that sounds great. My advice to Blockwork is, yo, just chill. Cut the drama back by like 60%. Do your drama. But let the music speak so you can go a long way so you can get out of Harlem, so you can get out of all of this stuff. Trust me, you can make some noise. You got a cool name. You got a cool image. You make great music. Just keep going. Digital Thugs. I'm out. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. Uh, Everybody like this video, dog. Click the like video right now. Like it. Like it. Like it. Like it.